With the ever-increasing popularity of high-performance front-wheel drive cars, vehicle engineers are facing some specific challenges. These cars have now got 200, 250 horsepower, all going through just the front wheels, and that gives us some specific difficulties that we need to try and address. When you're driving more than one wheel, you need some sort of device between them to distribute the torque and we use a thing called a differential and it splits the torque equally between the two wheels. Most of the time that's really good but if you're going around a corner you've got more weight on one wheel than you have on the other and that means the wheel without the weight gets too much torque and the result is wheel spin. So here we are in the Renault again, 225 horsepower. I just can't wait to get using some of that power. But as soon as I try the problem is the inside front wheel just spins away and I really can't use it. The RS Focus has uh, a little bit less power than the Megane but not very much but it's got a mechanical limited slip differential on the front and it's a, it's a bit of a mouthful but it, it basically means there are some some things that stop the wheels from spinning. When this inside wheel, this lightly laden wheel gets too much torque this limited slip differential can rob Peter to pay Paul. It can take some of the torque from this wheel and give it out to the more heavily laden wheel so the car can make much better use of the power that's available to it. Another time we have a problem with an open differential with its equal torque to each wheels is if there's less friction under one wheel than there is another. And um, we can test for that as well. We have a low friction facility and we can put half the car on that and half the car on high grip. The Renault Megane has an open differential and it's just really struggling to get away because one wheel is on something very slippy and there's just too much torque for it. It's inching forward as if the front wheels were entirely on ice. The standard Focus does better than the Megane, but it's still not great. There are some design details about the limited slip differential that mean it still struggles to pull away when one wheel is on something very slippy. The car is not only about traction. It's very important that the driver understands what the car is doing underneath him, because otherwise the driver can get quite confused. And this is the whole area that we talk about when we refer to handling and vehicle dynamics. So the limited slip differential solved our traction problems, but it introduces some problems of its own. When I put my foot on the gas, the car steers left, and I'm really not asking for that. Normally, if I'm going round a corner, if I let go of the steering wheel off the throttle, the car just flicks back straight again. The car knows where it wants to go, it wants to go in a straight line, and that's what we want from our cars. With the limited slip differential, we have this situation where if I put my foot on the gas, the car doesn't want to jump back to centre, and it's a little bit late doing it. Look at that. That wasn't me at all. It seems like the engine wants to steer the car. This is a problem that we call torque steer and uh, it, it's always been a, a problem for front wheel drive and we, we fix it a bit and then the power levels come up and we fix it some more and the power levels come up some more. So what we've got is a technology that, uh, that fixes the problems for these power levels. We've got some electronic control now of a limited slip differential and we've got some sensors in the car that understand the car from a handling point of view, not only from a traction point of view. And so we know when to get the differential to hold on and when to get the differential to let go. The result is a car that the driver always understands and always feels in control of. And having the driver feel in control is really very important. So having improved the traction and improved the torque steer, we get an added bonus of improved high speed stability as well. If something does happen and you need to swerve around something or something changes in front of you, the car can really get into trouble. So this is the chicane that we use to test the handling behavior of the car. It's a really good test because the driver has to go very hard one way and then very hard the other way in really quick succession. It gives the driver and the car a really good workout.
first car through is the ATD Focus. We've turned the system off to show you the basic behaviour of the car with an open differential. This was the type we saw in the Renault Megane. So we're at 110 kph through this manoeuvre, off the throttle, it's a limit manoeuvre and the back of the car moves quite a lot. The next car through is the standard RS Focus. It has that mechanical limited slip differential. The differential has something we call preload, which helps high speed stability. Well, that was quite hard work, even with all the preload in the differential. The last car through is the ATD Focus again. This time, the system is switched on. So this time I've got the ATD system switched on. 110k, third gear off the throttle. Blimey, I could have been asleep for that. That was really easy. By taking electronic control of the limited slip differential and adding in a standard set of vehicle dynamic sensors, we've got some great new functionality, but without any magic new parts. It's a really good way of using the technology that we've already got, but getting some function that we just didn't have before.